Hi. Uh, I don't know if many of you know who Kim Davis is. If you have a Facebook page, you probably do. Uh, she was the Kentucky clerk that refused to give same-sex marriage licenses and is now in jail uh, for Kentucky court. Um, normally, normally I get up here and tell jokes, but today I'm actually going to be a little serious. Um, I'm a Christian. I was a pastor for 15 years in a former life. And uh, I wanted to share some thoughts because I've been thinking about this a lot. I'm going, to have, I'm going to share some thoughts to three different audiences. The first one is to Kim Davis and her supporters. I would encourage you to see your stance as one that is literary in nature. It may feel like a very personal spiritual decision Kim Davis is making, but that spiritual decision is actually based upon her interpretation of a literary work, the Bible. Your challenge now is to logically justify your actions through clear biblical interpretation and be open to participating in fair and rational debate on the issue. This should be your path, in my opinion, not that it matters very much. The next one is for Christians who disagree with Kim Davis's actions but believe that homosexuality is a sin. Kim Davis's response was to judge and not act. To judge and not act. Your logical response should be to not judge and act. Do not judge and act. You should keep your mouth shut and accept love and care for those in the LGBT community through your actions. This should be your path, in my opinion, not that it matters very much. For those in the pro-LGBT community, Kim Davis is an easy target. If you've seen a picture of her, you know this is true. So are you, according to some people. And I think you're justified in retaliation, but I'd like to remind you to not forget your victory was achieved by demanding that all people be treated with respect. So do not let how you dialogue about Kim Davis take from your movement the principles of love and respect you fought so hard for. Show the proof of your love you so value by how you treat Kim Davis. This should be your path, in my opinion, not that it matters very much. So, oh, one clap, thank you. So you may ask where I stand. I'm a Christian. I believe that Kim Davis was not acting according to biblical principles. Do I think homosexuality is a sin? I've studied this a lot and struggled with this, these passages in scripture. And there's one thing that I've discovered that is absolutely true. It doesn't matter what I think. My job is not to judge. My job is to love unconditionally, period. No questions asked. So, I'm gonna do what I'm preaching that people like me should do, and that is shut my mouth and act in love. Is there anyone here that considers themselves part of the LGBT community? Right here? Okay. Here's a gift card to our electric station. I hope you guys I hope you have a good time. Thanks.